Oh, that was almost. I don't think it'd be a good idea to have a little bit of sellout by Real Big Fish playing at the start of a video anyway. Hello everybody! Welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're doing a Eden run, as per usual, because I want to see how well I can do with him. Let's get started. Also, speaking of selling out, this video is dedicated to Carnairs. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. I wish I could do more than just say thank you, but you'll just have to accept my humblest thanks. Anyway, P963B4E7 is the seed. We've obviously started with Guppy's Collar. Oh, my best friend. Ugh, no consumables, no... Oh, we've got a pill. No trinket. Stats that I care about are pretty good. Speed is a bit low though. Yeah, speed is a little sluggish. First item room is... Oh, dry baby. This just got better. Have I ever used my best friend? Like, seriously, have I ever used it on camera? I want to say that I probably have just maybe to say, oh, by the way, this item's awful, here's what it does. But anyway, it lays, it lays down, rather, a little kind of, not a portable bomb, a proximity bomb, but enemies kind of get drawn to it in the same way that they do scapegoat. Now, there was a reason for not using it in the original game, because there were certain setups or scenarios you could get into where it would literally break the game and crash. Wait, was it a hard crash or was it just that you couldn't proceed? I can't remember which. Wow. Is there a luck stat? Nope. Either way, there was a thing that could have happened with it in the original Binding of Isaac where it would just literally break the game and you'd be screwed, so no one took it for that reason. They fixed that. Oh, I want to say that... <laughs> now this is difficult. Mom's key is fantastic. My spacebar item isn't. I want a better spacebar item, although on that subject we can actually use it here to get enough money to buy something. I need a better space bar item. I've got mom's key though. Shit. Shit. Um, I want blue candle, it's so good. I will try and get 15 cents. A way of getting that would be just a bunch of bombs. If I can get a bunch of bombs, I will I will do horrible, horrible things to my donation machine. I, I just will. I was aiming for the champion, I missed, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I was going to say that's going to hit me because I walked into it. He wasn't even aiming for me, that was just random bad luck. But if I do screw up royally, we do have that 50-50 chance. I do know I have this pill. I was thinking of using it when I get down to one heart, just in case. Also, what's with all the big rooms? Bloody hell. By the way, just before recording this, I was made aware, kind of by accident, that a few days ago was my YouTube channel's anniversary. I didn't join YouTube on July 5th, 2008, but that is when I made my own solo channel for a couple of years prior to that. I think maybe even from YouTube's inception, I helped out on another channel and then decided to go it alone. So yeah, that's my... well, if I made it on July 2008, 5, 6, 7, that's right, I had to look at the calendar to remind myself that it was still 2015. Never do maths when recording. Never, ever, 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 ever. There isn't much I can give advice about when it comes to commentating, but do not do maths. Just do not. You never win. Put it that way. So yeah, it's an anniversary. I, I forgot about it, so it isn't like I had anything planned to celebrate it. But I'm feeling a bit, you know, nostalgic for why I started it. It's interesting, I started my channel doing just little silly videos with Final Fantasy XI, and here I am playing Final Fantasy XIV, the updated MMO Final Fantasy. It's like it's come full circle, and I kind of like that. But when I started, I was just doing it for fun. Ah, bollocks. Can I use that to get anything else on this floor? Yes, I can use it to get half a heart. Oh, and also go in the curse room. So I'll leave Blue Candle there for now. Wow, you move so much faster with Black Pony. Yeah, when I started doing the videos, it's just because I like doing them. For the record, I still like doing them, but I mean back then I, I only did it for that reason. There was no other reason to do it. So glad I did this. Okay. Now I know what that pill was. Sadly... Yeah, I only have the one bomb. I'm not going to get enough coins. We'll just have to say goodbye to Bosky. Such as it is. And for many years, to go back to what I was saying, I still just did it. I did it on the side while I had a real job, a couple of real jobs actually. I changed them 
in the meantime of doing it. Only twice. And then I just happened to kind of get lucky and kind of made my own luck and the channel started to take off. But I made the horrendous misplay, I guess, <laughs> kind of fits the theme, of not capitalising on success when I found it because my opinion was always just, I'm just doing it for fun. It's a hobby. I don't care. And I also had this kind of anti anti ad idea because I was immature and had no idea how the world works. So I was like, no, I, I, why would I want to make money from the videos I make? That's stupid. That's not right. That's immoral. It's none of those things. I was the one being stupid. I was being childish. And I wish I could just give my younger self a shake and, and say, what the hell are you doing? This is an opportunity. Capitalise on it and you'd be in a better position than you are now. But that said, I still enjoy making videos and that will probably never change. Oh, this is rare as hell. Alright, tough. Ah, but with our luck stat as it is. I love the look, the... look at that face. Just the lips sticking out. Yeah, tough love. It'll fire a tooth every so often, but it's based on your luck stat. So... <laughs> good luck with that. I, I'll go back to kind of just, you know, talking about my channel in general, since I guess this is the way I'm going to celebrate my anniversary, by talking about it in a rebirth run. But there was an update on Afterbirth. And it was in regards to some more stuff that luck stat is going to affect. So first of all, Edmund showed off another item, a variant on there's options called... Was, did he just call it more options? I can't remember, but it's essentially the same thing, just a different colour. And rather than give you a choice of boss items, it gives you a choice of items in the item room, so a different pool. Which is a very good idea for an item. It lets you customise your run again. I, I love stuff that lets you customise your run. Not because it's a fast track to being OP. It's, it just gives you variety. And variety is massively important to a roguelike. So that's a very good idea for an item. And on top of that, he also said that there's just a, a very, very small chance that when you walk into an item room, as standard, it'll have two items in there. But it's a, it's as if you had the item. So when you take one, the other will disappear. Oh, Dry Baby's going to get the kill here. Yeah, he did. Ah, yeah, that's okay, I suppose. Oh, that was weird. It struggled to load the Devil Deal. So this is three of the same pill. And it's explosive time, <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh my god. Alright, well we're on one HP plus one spare heart thanks to health down. So let's just pretend we've got to deal with the devil for... <laughs> Dry Baby. I don't know. I'm going to clear the floor because now I want spare hearts. So yeah, there's just a, a, a chance, a very, very small chance, you walk into an item room and you got lucky and there's two items sitting there. But you can't take both, that's the thing. You can still only take one, it's just you have a choice and it's based on your luck stat, which slightly improves the chance of that actually happening. Is that the health down pill? Because it'll be a health up now. Or was it the other red one? Nope, good. Okay, we got our stolen heart back, so that's handy. Blank card. Oh, you give me a load of good space variants. If I had taken Mom's key, I obviously would have bought blank card on this floor. As it is, I'm going to buy the spirit heart, and we're okay for everything else, so I'm just going to leave. And we'll take our explosive diarrhea, I guess. Ah, the secret room could be here, actually, so let's kind of do that. It was not, but it gave us access to... And I can see forever pill. Alright, well, we're getting both our secret rooms on this floor after all. I'm all for... Randomosity, that's not a word, but it's the word I'm choosing to use when it's purely just to add variety to a thing. Now, random damage, like the kind you get on, say, the Isaac fight, that's health down, but if I take that with me, I could spend a deal with the devil and get a heart back. I think... I think I Can See Forever has more value. <laughs> that's another health down. No bad gas. Is there anything I can trade away on this floor? Actually, alright, this is ridiculous, but I'm going to do health down. We have a health up, and I'm going to use the fact that I currently only have one red HP to go into the boss trap room and see what's in there. And we are going to do this, so I'll take my health back. Shit. I mean, I had a smart arse idea and it did not pay off because all I got was bombs. Oh well. I was being clever and it didn't pay off, so let that be a lesson to you children. Never be clever. 
but oh well. So yeah, as I was saying, stuff that just makes a roguelike more roguelike without being unfair damage that you can't avoid and stuff like that. Very clever idea. All for it. It'd be interesting if that kind of applied elsewhere as well, but he's being a bit, you know, shtum, as we say about that. So there's my I can see forever. We have another bomb, so we'll try for Magic Mushroom again. And we got, uh, farm ones. Our pill rotation is pretty shitty, as it turns out. Oh yeah, we haven't had our second secret room, have we? It must be below the room, oh, or this one. <laughs> okay, well, Lemon Party's a good pill. Lockdown's a very, very bad pill. That's... Uh, it's essentially neutered tough love. Interesting floor. We're doing well damage-wise for where we are, thanks purely to Cricket's head. Hmm. I suppose I can go back to what I was talking about now. I'm trying to think if I had anything else to say about the the rebirth update, but it was fairly succinct. Oh wait, no, 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 there was one other thing. The release date for the Xbone version and new 3DS was revealed at being the end of July. I think you'll see this before the end of July, I should hope so anyway. Considering it's not long after the 5th, as I said, I'm recording it, although it's the 8th, if you want me to be exact. What is it? Oh, and Wii U. Yeah, so Wii U, new 3DS, that is not 3DS, keep in mind, it's the second game outside of... Xenoblade Chronicles to have to be on new 3DS, not the regular kind. So keep that in mind, but hit Wii U and Xbone all getting Rebirth on July 29th or something, I don't know. And the picture that Nicholas posted on Twitter was of the 3DS interface. I think they did it really, really well. There's a lot of succinct information on the lower screen and it's tidied up the top screen, which is, is the game you would, uh, the screen rather, you would look at to play. So yeah, I think they, they found a very workable layout for the 3DS and it actually looked very pretty. I don't know how it's going to look on Wii U, like what's going to be used for the gamepad and so on. Oh yeah, we got Infestation, didn't we? I, I was thinking it was Parasite. Shows how much I'm paying attention. So yeah, if you have not got a PC or PlayStation or you know Vita etc and you want to play Rebirth, you're going to get the chance basically. Toothpicks is okay. No deal with the devil is a little sucky. And I think they said it's not going to get Afterbirth content straight away. So keep in mind, in general, consoles do seem to get patchy slower. It used to be because they charged a ridiculous amount of money to be allowed to patch a game. Thankfully, that isn't as prominent anymore because that is a stupid system and just used to bleed money out of developers who otherwise would risk their credibility if they, like, say they couldn't afford a patch. Their credibility would suffer. And it was just Microsoft's greed, which is why indie, indie devs rather flocked to PlayStation. Although I believe they still used, they did charge, not as much, but they did at one point, and that quickly disappeared. I think I'm not sure. If any indie devs are watching this, and you went through that process a while back, oof, I should have been hit there, probably twice. Let me know because I'm curious. Now let's see. The secret room could be up here, right? No. Down here? No. Damn. So if I want to get into the curse room, it has to be the old-fashioned way at the cost of a heart. Damage is actually very, very good for how far in we are. We are going to go into the shop. I wouldn't mind if it was greed. Blank card again, for full price this time. Alright, you're going to pay for my trip into this uh, curse room. So even if there's literally nothing in here, I break even. Shit. Okay. It's one of those runs, is it? It's been a while. I can't complain, really. Our HP isn't great, but we're super strong. For this point. It'll start to taper off once we get into the depths slash necropolis. But anyway, in terms of how the channel's doing at the moment, it's, uh, it's doing okay. The summer has been slow. Numbers are down because people are away on holiday, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. I know that my channel was stagnating a little bit, I suppose, if you aren't into Monster Hunter or Rebirth. Although, if you aren't into Rebirth, you won't be hearing me say this. So I had two red hearts and a spirit heart and a half, right? I'm going to have to try and keep track of that. But now we have Ark, and I pitched an idea to patrons, by the time you hear this, it'll be probably like a week ago, 
about a new idea of handling videos I do for patrons, but also as a series, another new option for people. Thank you very much. Would have actually liked some spirit hearts, but that's probably even better. Also, I should have used that on the last floor, I think. Uh, how long did I hold on to that? I can see forever. I think I held on to it for one floor too many. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Right, so that is a full spirit heart gone. So that means we're on two red hearts and half a spirit heart? Yeah, that should be what we're at. So survivability is a problem. My reflection... I value my range and it's going to tank my range. So no, we're going to pass on my reflection. Don't want it. It's quirky. If I had like sides and stuff, then by all means, but I can still do this. Right now, no. Hoping for a spirit heart this time. Not greed. No greed. Ooh, half price habit though is handy, so I'll want both. Alright, one more bomb. We can afford it. Oops. <laughs> it would help if I could count, obviously. So yeah, if I get feedback from patrons that it's a good idea, I might do this thing where it's either every other episode is not necessarily Patreon exclusive, but timed so that I can get more viewer input on a different type of game. I'm not going to say what yet, until I get some feedback. Other than that, I've started more recently trying to get back into do do to doing more frequent first impression videos, because I know that they slowed down a little bit. But to be honest, that's because a lot of the games I hear about via email haven't appealed to me. I'm not saying anything against the developers of said games, it's just they are often not my thing. But I found a few that I like. Hey, that's very lucky. So there will be more of those to come. Death card will burn it on something. Oh, we have a mini mush for this room. So, can we get into a special room for free? We can't, but we did get fast track to the boss. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Above could be a special room. Although we've had our shop and item room, so it would have to be a curse room if nothing. If anything, rather. Alright, I'm feeling much more secure now because we've had two, three spirit hearts now? Damn. I do want to go in the curse room. That was not the HP downfill. We'll fight the boss first because I want to see if I get a deal with the devil. Oh, God. Carrying Queen, very rare, very, very annoying. It's the one that will leave red poops as well. Yeah, I want to see how much I get hit, if at all. If I get a deal with the devil, how much I spend, and then I'll consider going to the curse room. Although, to be honest, so far they've all been garbage. Why are you not... You didn't spawn a single red poop. In this form, you don't, but I'm actually genuinely surprised she didn't spawn a single one prior to that. Oh, skimmed. Like the milk. Range up, really? Oh, god damn. Cuppy Spa, alright. We're gonna go full spur heart. And we're not gonna take it with us because I need blue candle. And I guess we'll take that because I can't do anything with it. We will go in our curse room because I've generated myself quite a bit of health. Oh, if that was the HP down, it's now an HP up. I, I don't think it was that colour, but I want to check. I guess. We'll take our death card because at least it can clear annoying rooms. Or a annoying room, I should say. Oh, and now we're guppy! <laughs> now, do I want blue candle? Uh, since I'm guppy, I'm not going to need blue candle. I'll take that just for more flies, I guess. Well, I don't need to. I don't need the head. I don't need blue candle now either, really. I'm probably going to use it a lot less. But it's a safety net. This turned around real quick. Maya disagrees. She's in my bad books because she woke me up at 3am today. There wasn't a thunderstorm, as far as I can tell, although dogs have better hearing, so maybe it was further away. But she wasn't really, like, when she hears thunder, no matter how far away it is, she becomes a quivering wreck. Because, you know, she's one of those dogs that are really feared of... Oh, we still can't see her HP. That's a little awkward. But we will only get hurt for half a heart, so... Well, got a penny for half a heart. That's not a good deal. But yeah, as I was saying, I couldn't hear any thunder. She wasn't really shaking, but she did seem, like, worried. I don't know how else to say it. So she wouldn't leave me alone the rest of the night. I had barely any sleep again. 
Now usually what it could be is like sometimes she hears something beep. She doesn't like high pitched noises of any kind. So a good example is say when a smoke detector needs a new battery, it beeps every so often, very intermittently. So it can sometimes be that that's bugging her. But also I must remember I can fly. But recently changed all the batteries in the smoke detectors because I thought that was maybe what was bothering her. So it can't be that. Can dogs have nightmares? I mean, they, they very clearly dream, so can they have bad dreams? Because that, I, I don't know what else could be bothering her. And I was genuinely, like, last night while trying to sleep with the dog, like, laying against me, not letting me stretch at all and what have you. I was sitting there thinking, I, I, I don't hear any thunder, I don't hear any anything beeping, the router didn't reset or anything like that because that sometimes makes things turn on and off. I have no idea what's bothering you. Did you have a bad dream? Is this the equivalent of a baby or a kid having a bad dream and, you know, wanting to get comforted? I don't know. It's just very weird to me and... That's what you think about at 3 in the morning when you're trying to sleep and you can't because your dog woke you up and refuses to move. She's weird. She's always been weird, but she's weird turned out. I was going to say we'll try for dry, baby. No, we won't. We'll try for a little haunt and a joker card, I guess. And got nothing. Mm, kill you. What we had and what we not had on this floor. We've had our item. Uh, no, we've had our shop. We haven't had our item room. And we have another boss. And this is Necropolis 1. By which I mean Depths 1. Should have been able to tell by the music. There's our boss. Why did I take that? I could already fly. All this has given me is a red HP that I'll want rid of. Well, I guess maybe because I wanted angel wings rather than a spinning cattail. Yeah, let's go with that. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, oh, I knew it. I mean, I didn't really because I wouldn't have gone this way if I'd known it wasn't the right way for the item room, but you know what I mean. I, I knew it. It was here. Chemical peel. Perfectly fine. A little bit of damage up every other shot. If you have chemical peel, I think I've had asked this before, if you have chemical peel and you have blood clot, do both alternate? Or is it they both combine on every second shot to make it even more powerful? Not sure if I've ever had that scenario. Obviously doing a ton of damage thanks to the guppy flies. That is a great tears up plus two more spare hearts. No deal with the devil. We don't even need it now, so I don't care. Let's go. I look like a Sith that's been burned by force lightning now. Also, with this kind of setup, prior to me changing away from the guppy body, it looked like I had ceremonial robes even though it was just the nuns habit. Why did I stand that close? I'm not entirely sure, person who asked. So there's compass effect. Curse room and item room are down on the left. Boss all the way on the right. Welp. I knew that was not going to lead where I needed to be. Still very, very happy with our damage. We've got enough damage now just thanks to the guppy flies that we don't need any other damage ups. Although I would like to get as powerful as possible because it's fun. Flies, get him. Flies, get him. Oh, wow. Considering we've had a luck down pill and no luck ups, so that's a good outcome. Yeah, it can happen. We're basically getting no teeth though. Although now that we have a super fast fire rate, especially because we now have mini mush for this room as well, we are seeing more teeth. It's deceptive though. As I say, we've got a fast fire rate now, so it just seems like we've got a high luck stat. Mr. Mega! It's a bit of a waste of an item room that because it's incredibly common for Mr. Mega to turn up naturally, particularly on the chest. Do I want my last shot when I only have four cents? I just realised I didn't get a devil deal on the last floor despite not getting hit on the boss and I killed a beggar. I committed murder! What else do you want me to do, devil? Ah, the devil's so picky. Anyway. So this is Necropolis 2, we've got Mom, there's our final shop. It could be greed. Ah, we've got a few keys, let's have a look. 
It is great. And we got a steam sale when there's no more shops left. Excellent. I enjoy sarcasm. I've been holding on to this death card for like four floors now, right? There's nothing better, and I haven't really found a room that's been like, oh, I should probably use the death card. It will save me. Oops. <laughs> Let's ignore that that happened. Let's try for a devil card. No, not devil card. What the hell am I talking about? Joker card, so I can get it with the devil. We're getting a massive pay of black and spirit hearts. The hermit. A bunch of teleports. The teleport does have value, actually, so let's burn death. Not in here, we're not. Not in here, we're not, either. I don't want the health up, so we won't be taking that. Lemon party could be useful against mom, more so than the death card, actually. So we'll take that instead. It's red mom, so it's especially good. Alright. Krampus. Nope. A useless item, but I'm taking it just so I get rid of my last red heart. Tinted rocks, although we've had our fill of tinted rocks. We've had small rock and we've got full spare heart health, so... Don't really need to look out for them, I think we can safely hurry up. So on that subject, big map, and wait for Liberty Cap to show me the way. To the boss, ideally. Or just in general, obviously not this way. Ah, I suppose I should have a look in case it's a rare chance of an item. Oh, um, yeah, okay, we'll clear it quick. So that is two I can see forever as well. That's actually handy. The pill is... I'm sorry, we'll just use because I'm going to take the I can see forever. Four monstros. Am I supposed to be scared? Hey, that could maybe cut us a corner. Oh yeah, maybe it does. I hold out hope that this is a shortcut. Ah, it's going to hit me for sure, yeah. <laughs> and you pissed off dry, baby. That's what you get. Although you were already dead, so... You weren't alive to hear me taunt you like that. Which is a shame. Could get a spare heart back right here. Yeah, we did. All the screaming angel... No, wait, they're, they're not angel faces. They're just normal faces that can fly. Okay, we did actually end up getting a shortcut. So that's three... I, oh, three range downs. Well, we've had plenty of range ups, so that's irrelevant. I don't want to health up. I can see forever we'll take with us. All right, last chance for a deal with the devil. I'm going to be quite picky because I don't need a lot of stuff. Didn't get one anyway. Don't want Placenta. Although it's been a while since Placenta's turned up for me. But anyway, we'll ignore it and carry on. Do I use I Can See Forever on this floor? Yeah, I think so because it could help me cut a corner again. Nah, we're not doing that. We've had Fate. I don't want Able. Tammy's head might be fun, but it could also be Bob's brain. I can't even say that without scorning. Now, if Magic Mushroom drops, do I take it? Yes, yes, I do. Why would I take it? Because it makes up for the fact that I'd lose Polaroid Invincibility by being awesome. Oh, hello, Pride. Goodbye, Pride. The Hermit. Random teleport. Better than Explosive Diarrhea because I can go into a curse room for free. Oh, damn, I didn't see you. Curse me not paying attention to the top left of my screen because of the light shining in behind me. Uh, it's probably not this way, is it? Oh, there's a library, though. Alright, we'll have a look at that. I wouldn't mind taking a book. Book of Belial would definitely speed things up. Seven keys. Oh, it's a double key room, though. It could be a reroll. Or it could just be absolute shit. Uh, at least we got one key back. God, that's awful. Hmm... Which way would it be? Could be to the right, I suppose. Well, got nothing to do with the money, so sure, but if he pays it with health, I'm not taking it. Pay it with a map. Or compass. No, map or compass, though. Just gonna... Shove. Portable slot! Portable slot! Well, hang on. There's a fancy trick you can do with that. 
that I might be able to show you. It's it's not needed for this run at all, but I kind of just want to show it. Oh, we might have the chance. Because I used IKT forever, right? Where is the room? Is that second secret room or is that secret room? Because it's second secret room I want. Pretty bomb, essentially. Mwah! Oh, it was a second secret room. I'm not entirely sure. If you take portable slot into a special second secret room when it has a special floor, um, if it's a cathedral one, it pays out with nothing but eternal hearts when it pays out with a heart. And in the dark room looking one, it pays out with black hearts. In the the one we had there, I don't think it does anything special. So anyway, it lives. Not for long. Oh yeah, I always forget you can't walk behind her when she does that in this one. It doesn't matter, you're dead. Get her flies. Dry baby as well. That was the worst dodge I've ever done in my life, but luckily it probably won't matter. We're going to use the Hermit card straight away just because it might put me closer to Isaac. Has it? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Bob's run ahead, we shall ignore. Ah, the worst version of death. I thought I killed that scythe! I killed you, Eternal Heart. Don't want it. Well, actually, I have lost health now. Ah, oh, but then I'd lose Polaroid and Spilly. I don't know. I'll see what my health's like when we're done with the floor. It could be bad, if that's any indication. We'll see, though. Hey, it was a fast track. Right, we don't need to know. I totally forgot that we have Mr. Mega. Oh! Mess with me and you get the dry baby. And final form. Dry baby did not do damage to Isaac because he wasn't on the map at the time. That's a shame. Goodbye, Isaac. Oh, you son of a bitch! Got one more hit off before dying. Just die. Goodbye. Uh, I'm not going to take the eternal heart. Although, watch now as I get an, uh, any of the all stats up. And, oh, of course it's dark. Nope. 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 Terrible assortment. I guess I'll take this in case it gives me spare hearts. Money equals power could be okay because we have... We have reasonable damage. We don't have great damage. Nah. Not worth taking. That was a piss poor assortment. Well, at least it's only two dark ones. I can't see the other dark one because I'm recording this at a bright time of day. Oh, this sucks. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Alright. Extra hard mode engaged. Yes, I could stop and, in, and turn up the in-game brightness, but then I'd have to remember to reset it afterwards. Also, why did I say reset it instead of reset it? Ooh, golden key's nice, though. Shame Guppy's tail wasn't one of our guppy items. Walk into that. Thank you. That was very, very helpful of you. Remember, you have Mr. Mega. Bombs can be exchanged for limbs and blood. Oh, hang on, if I kill you last, I might get a spare heart. Might be important. I can't see any of the little spiders. None at all. I'm aware it wasn't a spider that hit me, but I was backing up to avoid little spiders. We're still going to win, it's just... I'm a little annoyed at how much my health suffered. What is still alive, I can't see anything. Oh, there's a bomb. Is that it? Dead end? Is this three Lokis? It is three Lokis. Oh! You know how Loki fires. How could you almost let him hit you? Finally, we get an item. It's a reasonable item, and Mystery Stack paid it with the black heart, so... I'm vindicated in my decision to take it, and we found Blue Baby, so we've win! We've win, I said there. We've win! Hope you enjoyed my little moderate nostalgia of talking about my channel hitting its anniversary. Whether you're new to the channel or old, I appreciate your continued viewership. I hope that on some level you find what I do entertaining, or educational or you look for tips i don't know what you're doing here i'm just glad that you are here and i hope you stick around for a while blue baby i've run out of nice things to say because so could you like you know die so i can stop and, and, and go and do other things and got other videos to do 
Goodbye. Okay. We're done. I had fun with that one, actually. Hope you did too. I shall see you next time. Ta-ta. For now.